I've seen loads of discussions online regarding Figma Denji. Is it really as bad as some people say it is? Stay tuned until the end for my final verdict. Denji is a character from the manga and anime Chainsaw Man. The anime is produced by Studio Mappa and the manga is made by Tatsuki Fujimoto. I came across the manga a few years back in a time when I was living alone with my cat. So Denji and Pochita resonated with me in the past. I thought this figma would be a good choice because it has parts for Chainsaw Man as well. It's a 2-in-1 figure although I originally just wanted Denji. So how did Figma do with this figure? Let's start with the unboxing. The box has a yellow-green cardboard insert. Inside, we have an instruction sheet for the accessories, a Figma bag, and the usual Figma stand, spare hands, and spare joint. Aside from the main figure, the box includes a Pochita figure, left and right chainsaw arms, a chainsaw man head with closed and opened mouths, an axe, and two extra faceplates. Looking at the main figure, it's well painted but with a slightly noticeable mold lines here and there. There are no major paint bleed on the details, but this is a case-to-case -case basis. His hair, shirt, and trousers are all in matte finish. The color of the shirt is slightly off-white, similar to the anime. I'll talk about the proportions later, but you can see that there's a noticeable gap on the shoulders. The Chainsaw Man parts are also painted well, with metallic black and gunmetal paint. The orange head has a glossy finish. The paint on the teeth is not perfect, but it's not that bad either. The main faceplate on my figure has a very small black dot on his left cheek and I can't seem to remove it. Let me know in the comments if you know how. His shirt looks mostly ironed out, especially at the front, with a few creases here and there. The ball joints on the arms and legs are sticking out as usual. The shoes look great and can balance the figure so you can do standing poses without the Figma stand. We have full rotation on the head, side to side motion, and a good range of motion looking up and down. The necktie is made of soft material. The arms connect to the body with a ball joint and can rotate 360 degrees. This gives the shoulders a good range of motion and adjusting how you move the joints can give you a bit more articulation and hide the gaps on the shoulders depending on the position. There's a chance it may pop off the socket while posing, but you can simply pop it back. The biceps and forearms can rotate as well, and the arms can bend more than 90 degrees. The hands have the usual Figma joint, and it has a full rotation and a swivel function. The shoulders have butterfly articulation but there's a big gap out at the front. The torso has three points of articulation which is great. The upper part rotates nicely but not a full 360 due to the nature of its joint. Denji has an extensive torso bend going backward and especially going forward. For a side-to-side -side bend, this figure employs soft parts on its love handles that allow more articulation while keeping the silhouette looking good on the waist. This helps create more dynamic poses where the arms and shoulders may be limited. The lower limb connects onto a ball joint which provides a slight rotation. This gives the legs a good side-to-side -side articulation but not enough to make a split. Forward and backward articulation looks like this and the legs can bend this much. The feet has forward and back swivel side-to-side -side pivot on a peg, and has a nice toe bend. It can almost nail the superhero landing pose.
Denji comes with two extra face plates. One has his tongue sticking out and the other is a smiling face. The face plates can be swapped by taking the hairpiece out. He has a hand part with a pull cord for transforming into Chainsaw Man. Aside from the closed fists, he also has a pair of peace sign hands, opened hands, and a pair for holding the axe. The axe has gunmetal paint on the blade and metallic black on the handles. The Pochita figure looks cute, with some very minor, almost unnoticeable mold lines. Mine has a bit of paint bleed on the right fang, but this is a case-to-case -case basis as well. The chainsaw parts has metallic black and gunmetal paint. The body has a matte finish, with black paint on the handles and tail. It feels like a Tomy Pokemon toy to handle. Figma Denji comes with Chainsaw Man parts. The orange part of the head has a glossy finish, with metallic black paint at the back and on the handle. You can move the handle on the head. The teeth looks okay on the closed head, with some paint inconsistencies on the panel lines. The opened mouth looks better, and the tongue connects with the round peg and can swivel side to side. To swap the mouth parts, just pull it down and attach the other one. The neck has a special peg that makes it easier to swap heads. The chainsaws on the head and arms are painted with metallic black and the inner part has a gunmetal finish. It's clean and free from blood stains. The teeth of the chainsaw are quite sharp so you need to be careful not to prick yourself while posing the figure. To swap out the arms, bend the elbows when pulling it out so you don't pull out the joint and simply connect the chainsaw arms on the peg. For a size comparison, he is a tad taller than the SH figure arts Bruce Lee in yellow jumpsuit and slightly shorter than Figma Ronin. Here's how he scales compared to a AA battery. Denji stands at around 15 centimeters or around 5.5 inches tall. On one hand, Figma Denji is well painted and has a good torso bend, yet there are issues like the gap on the shoulders and somewhat limited articulation on the limbs. I don't own the SH Figure Arts Chainsaw Man, but the limbs on that one offers more movement. This doesn't mean that Figma Denji is incapable of dynamic poses because he can, and you can actually do a lot especially with the torso bend. The clean chainsaws are a good choice for me because the blood is something you can edit in post when taking pictures. I also like its longer length compared to the figure arts, but this choice all comes down to personal preference. As for the shoulder joints, it affects the silhouette when standing up, but it becomes barely noticeable with action poses. I've seen Figma do better with other figures though, so this is something that can be improved upon. I have nothing to complain about the face as it captures the anime version quite well. With its price and all the accessories included, I think Figma Denji is a bargain. The shoulder joints could have been executed better, but you can still make solid poses and enjoy playing with it as I did. It's actually better than I initially expected. If you're bothered about the shoulder gaps, it doesn't matter if you're doing dynamic poses or you can hide them with soft goods. Would I recommend this figure? For photography, yes. I think Figma Pochita also looks better than the SH Figure Arts version. But if you have OCD and bothered about the shoulders, there are other options elsewhere. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment, like, and share. I'd greatly appreciate it. Send me an email if you want a figure to be featured, and please subscribe to help me grow my channel. My name's Al, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.